When I'm with you, how can I snooze? Nobody, nobody like you do, you do. When I'm with you, as long as you remember me. When I'm with you. <laughs> Welcome to the 25th episode of Project 50. <laughs> Before this video starts, by the way, that was me last night. I was <laughs> safe to say I was just a little tipsy. All right. One second here. Good morning, y'all. If you're wondering why I'm actually awake at this this time, uh, no, it wasn't because I'm working this morning. It snowed pretty heavy last night. I mean, not too heavy, but enough for it to like make the road slick and stuff frozen, and enough for it to make a layer of like snow on the ground. I gotta go to the workplace and try to solve this problem because apparently, like, they can get the key in and everything, but like, they, they you know they can't turn it at all. Oh my God, bruh. <laughs> oh my dumbass thought that they were talking about the like the like the building door. I didn't realize that she was just talking about her car. The reason why I'm heading over there is because I thought that you can't even open the freaking building at all. No, it's the, the the only problem is that it's it's her car. I mean since I'm already heading over that way, I just offered it. I guess might as well if if you want to ride over there I can I can take you over there if you want. She goes, I can't come into the place at all. My car is frozen. And I said, oh, it's your car. And then I said, I thought it was the building door. And then I go, need me to just give you a ride then? I'm already heading over. And she goes, sure, you are blind. I have sent my car to my t Uh, miscommunication. Miscommunication. Well, the real episode starts after this. I'm just gonna give my coworker a ride. I don't got nobody just with you right now when I'm with you. Well, good news, the actual building door works. Oh my god, bro. I actually can't believe this. She goes, you will always be blind. I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to bed now. Sweet Caroline, bop, bop, bop. Listen, baby, ain't no river way to keep me from getting to you, babe. Baby, you light up my world like nobody else. Never been as a wise man. Body, you're a boy, make a big noise, play. Gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm all I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, every moment spent with you is a moment I treasure. And I don't wanna miss a thing. Because I'll get thrown off the motherfucking air, you hear? Good afternoon, everyone on YouTube land. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this uh, snowy ass day, boy. I hope it doesn't snow anymore. I'd be pretty sad about it. This is actually the real start of Project 50. Bro, we are halfway through. Halfway through, 25 episodes in. I'm still feeling pretty good about it, so W's in the chat, right? Like, I, my mind is still cooking, you know what I mean? Like, I'm still going. What we got planned for today is three things, just three big things. Uh, besides that, I mean, there's nothing really else. Uh, I do have work tomorrow, so I probably should, like, sleep a little early, but who knows? The agenda for today, uh, I'm actually on my way to Tina right now. I'm gonna get a haircut just because this hair is just getting too long. After the haircut, I'm gonna go straight for Uber Eats, which that'll probably put me around like 410, 420 maybe. Around 730 is when I'll stop. I hope I get decent amount of orders, but I can't really assume too much to be honest because it's not rush hour yet. And then after that is a uh, training day. We'll see what we're gonna be doing today. I'm not assuming too crazy stuff because of the fighters are fighting tomorrow, I mentioned before. Actually, I wanted to rant about something just really quickly about uh, the whole WWE stuff with Cody Rhodes and everything. So I didn't even know that they had this. I don't know why they're doing this. They were holding this like um, WrestleMania kickoff. I'm pretty sure that this whole kickoff thing was probably just because they wanted to solve the whole Cody issue. For the mess that they've created, they haven't done bad at trying to solve it. Pretty much uh, The Rock turned heel completely. Completely cussed out uh, Triple H in the back and uh, slapped Cody. It was honestly refreshing to see, man, because it's like in my lifetime at least, I've never seen The Rock heel. Of course, I've seen the clips of him like being a heel um, back in the Attitude Era days or even before that. Uh, yeah, Attitude Era, yeah. Back in the Attitude Era, I've seen clips of him being a bad guy, but, but ever since he left WWE for Hollywood, like I've never seen him turn bad. But just because they did a good job at solving the problem doesn't mean we ignore the problem itself. WWE has this thing of just quartering themselves. They're just really terrible at doing that. Four examples I could think of is one, giving The Fiend the title. I don't know why he needed a title. Makes it more human, you know what I mean? Two, 
is making um, Roman Reigns undisputed champion, making the Usos undisputed champion. To me, at least, it just makes no sense to combine the titles. I thought the whole draft thing was for you guys to like split up the brands and everything, and including the titles. And then fourth example is this one. They cornered themselves because it's like they had Cody Rhodes ready and actually earned the shot. And you have the whole Dwayne and Roman situation. They were kind of forced to do something about it. And the something is turning rock heel. So they did a good job at, you know, trying to cover everything up. You know, the problem still lies. It's like, bro, you guys just keep cornering yourself. I'm too lazy to bring the camera in. So I'm just going to and there we go. Bang. Just wanted to get a quick little trim. I mean, nothing too crazy. Just kind of just shorten it up a little bit. We're going to talk about mental health really quickly it's a topic i haven't gotten into in a long time huh yeah so um one thing that i was doing some research about when it comes to confidence one of the things that they mentioned that actually helps is getting a haircut like often i don't, I don't know why it is but i tried it like a couple months ago where i had like this phase where i was just getting haircuts like every two three weeks yeah it helps because it's like it makes you feel good looks sick man just a quick little trim nothing too crazy 4 p.m right now done earlier than i expected let's get to deliveries what the fuck's cracking with it so uh, uh, this is about three hours hours into uber eats i'm honestly done let me tell you guys a quick story here so around 6 30 i got an order for taco bell so i showed up for taco bell it took so long like it's it's seven now I, like i literally just left taco bell and um apparently someone else picked up the order that i was supposed to get i made like 30 bucks so you know um and i haven't gotten the tips for the last few orders so i'll take it man so my house is really close so i think i'm gonna i'm just gonna go home i'm, I'm gonna go home for a bit and then right after is that i'm just gonna head straight to the boxing gym right after and that should be it for our thing today i knew that it would happen but i can't lie to you guys uh like a little little anxious here i don't know why well i know why but you know it's nothing that serious but like i swear to god man every time every time i do uber eats it just brings out like the the anxious in me for some reason but well i mentioned it before that most of it is pretty much being being alone right yeah it's coming back a little bit i mean I'll be all right. I saw a try not to laugh at you by KSI. One of the videos he reacted to was, I think, who was it? I forgot who the streamer was, but he got asked saying like, what is your advice on like helping anxiety and stuff and like, like wean it down a little bit. And he goes, well, just don't worry about it, mate. <laughs> Fucking died, bro. Bro, I don't know why I have this like pain, like on my, like my neck, shoulder area. Like, so, like I don't know what this is called right here, but leave me alone trapezoid is it no it's not that's a shape oh my god trapezius but the, well both sides are sore i what did i oh that's oh my god bro I, I forgot i was doing back day yesterday of course it's gonna hurt i hope i can do well at training today because i want to go pretty hard today tomorrow's leg day so it's kind of a break if you think about it but either way i gotta do some training and my dad made some meatball casserole can't wait to eat that mm -hmm. we Good afternoon, everyone. No, good evening, everyone. Uh, as you can see, I'll show you guys the cut later, but doing some body sparring with some of the boys over there. I didn't record it, which sucks, because I, I I was sparring, so I don't know why I wasn't recording it, but there was a one spar that I did with a guy about eh, a little taller than me, but not too much, but did a little bit of sparring, and um, he actually caught me. Um, like, I, like, I tried to block one. I, like, I tried to block, I think it was a, was it a jab? I think it was a jab. I tried to catch it or whatever, like, kind of, like, parry it a little bit, but it kind of malfunctioned a little bit, because he got me, like, right on the chin, pretty much, like, right here. I honestly didn't know about this until, like, a few rounds later. I was like, bro, I, I, have, I have a cut? That's cool. I was honestly more worried about my, my piercing, because I was like, oh, I hope my piercing didn't get, like, disturbed or anything, but who knows? We'll see tomorrow if it got disturbed. The cool thing is... I did catch him in the liver. We had to stop the round after that one, so I'll take all the dubs. So we kind of traded, I guess. Like he caught me on the face, and I caught him right in the, right in the body. That was a pretty good shot. Definitely went a little harder than uh, than Wednesday. So making progress, making progress. That's the only thing I can ask for. Honestly, man, I've been loving learning this sport. Like this is like a really fun sport to like learn and like take in information for me. Like I've just been loving it. Just every single session, I just like like I enjoy it. You know. Unfortunately, we didn't do much um, conditioning. Good thing I did do that yesterday and i think for leg day tomorrow i'm gonna do that and also on sunday i think i'm gonna do some conditioning on those days too i just need to stop reaching i don't know i'm gonna eat some meatball dish like that my that my dad made so i'm very excited for that lots of protein in there i'm gonna try to get work off tomorrow morning just so i can kind of like maybe game up with the boys but i don't really know i do want to fix my sleep schedule i can't lie to you we'll talk about that another day anyway I'm gonna go home and eat. Ooh okay, so got me some meatball casserole. Mm-mm. I actually had like over half of this. This is 
delicious. But I needed some more protein, boys, because I just need more recovery. I also got some, you guessed it, Prime. Yeah. On my way home, I was thinking about like how to title this video, and I think I got the answers for you guys. It's just gonna be I got injured. I'm probably gonna find a screenshot of me sparring and me getting like hit somewhere, and then I'll use that as a thumbnail or something. So there's your clickbait. But I'll show you guys the injury once I'm in the bathroom. But I'm gonna finish this food up and happy days. See that right there? That's uh, that's the cut. I think what happened there was because of when the guy punched me, right? I think it was the Velcro that got me. I think so, unless unless it just like tore or something, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that was the Velcro. I mean, good news though, this is fine, I guess. It is a little irritated somewhat because remember I had to put this back on because I, you know, the whole retainer problem, but it's an all right cut. I mean, it's nothing crazy or anything. It's a little more than a paper cut, but it's, you know, I'll be all right. Gonna shower, head to bed. Honestly, I'm kind of tired, so <laughs> I don't know. Jeez, you can kind of see the bags, bro. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. A bit of a mess, but it is what it is. Either way, sayonara, children.